Yo, 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 this is Day Day's Gameplay, and I'm your host, Day Day, and today we're breaking down yet another clip to help bring you closer to achieving your Warzone goals at more kills and more wins. So, backstory, this clip was recorded like at the last second in order to get the chain kill during a solo game with both of these people. There's a guy that's currently sitting on the roof to my right. There's also a guy that's in front of me that I was engaging with first. You can see the footsteps leading to him. I had to bust out this door just to engage to him. At first, he had shots on me, so I had to run around, played up. Anyways, go ahead and start it. I know there's a guy to my right shooting because I'm already losing plates double from the guy in front of me and from the guy to the right. So I need to finish this kill ASAP. If this guy would have had uh, self res, I wouldn't have finished. I would have just took off, taking the chance of him self resing. Now, I know the guy, the guy that's shooting me knows that I'm broke. He's definitely coming down. He's definitely coming for the chase. I need to break the line of sight. So I go back through the door, and I immediately go to the right. I want to break that line of sight. Just in case he jumps down and he can see straight through, I want to break that line of sight, at least get one plate on, so this way I have more cover when I go through the other door in the back side. So you see I throw a plate on, throw another one, I swing right. Now I just want to get back into cover and loop around. I want to try and throw him off. Now, because how close the, this uh, to the area that I am from where I just left, I did peek the door. I did just open the door, um, so this way I wouldn't slam it open. I didn't peek it. I just I just opened it. I know he's going to be around here. I'm, I'm hearing him. I can see the footsteps there to my left, and then I immediately see him running towards the wall. Right, so I'm immediately going to aim down sights, jump. I break him. I'm already at an advantage because he never played it up. Maybe he just didn't have any plates and was trying to get plates. I never even shot at the guy, so I don't know who shot at him. Maybe the first guy did. I don't know. Regardless, he didn't plate up. So remember, after each gunfight, you need to plate up. Coming down there to get the plates may not have been the best move for him, but there really wasn't much for him to do, I guess. I go ahead and give him two double bunny hops instead of slide canceling around. The reason I went with the bunny hop instead of slide canceling is just because I wanted to get the headshot or I want to get the headshot multiplier because I'm using an AR versus a submachine gun this close. So I needed all the advantage I could get. If I had a submachine gun, I'm definitely sliding around the corner because we're in close quarters proximity. And there you go. Easy day. Cleaned him up. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I asked you please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, check out either the video I just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.